Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. So today's strength workout, we're going to be, well, I'm just going to be using these Clorox wipes. Everyone's best friend lately. If you have dumbbells, please use dumbbells or things that we've used in past workouts or videos, um, such as canned goods, water bottles, backpacks, anything like that to add some weight to you. Uh, about half the exercises we're going to do today involved adding some type of extra weight. The rest are just conditioning. Uh, we're going to follow somewhat of a similar format that I have before with these classes. We're going to do two different circuits that will be timed 30 seconds on with a little bit of rest. And we're going to go two rounds through. Uh, we also have, uh, if you watch my Ask the Trainer last Thursday, I believe it was, I talked about different ways as far as circuits, uh, EMOM, every minute on the minute, and as many reps as possible, different ways to change up your workouts. We're going to involve one of those in here as well, along with obviously the circuits. Then we'll end with a quick core circuit. Uh, which is just three exercises. So we'll buzz through them all pretty quick. Uh, one point I do want to make out though to people is these are strength workouts and strength workouts you want to think of more based on reps. You want to think, you know, doing as many reps as you possibly can at a given weight. That's how you build strength. That's basic exercise protocol. So typically going on a strict timer as far as, you know, 30 seconds on with an exercise and then 10 seconds off. It's not a good way to build strength because you're not actually working to your maximum potential as far as lifting external weight. So I just want to make that point to everyone. Uh, if you are adjusting this workout at home or developing your own workouts at your, at your own, own free will, please make sure that you are making them based on a certain amount of reps because of weight as opposed to just time or 30 seconds. You're, you're not going to gain strength that way. It's more of a fat burning, high heart rate type of protocol. So that being said, we'll do a quick little warm up. Then we'll jump into this 30 seconds. Uh, intervals and uh, good luck. This one's uh, pre-recorded, so feel free to stop at any point if you want to adjust your weight, if you want to add time, if you want to add sets, reps, whatever it is. So feel free to adjust it or just watch at a later date. All right. So to start off, we're gonna do a little mobility drill. So set up in a push-up position. I'll do this as many different angles as I possibly can. Okay, bring one leg up. Plant that foot if you can. If not, elevate your hands. Take a look at the same arm as that leg that's up. Slowly rotate. Only rotate as much as you can while keeping your eye on the palm. Then then rock back into the heel. Okay, send your butt up into the air. One, two, get a stretch your hamstring. Come back and plant your foot. Okay, now alternate. Okay. Plant the foot, slowly rotate. Bring it back down and rock into the heel. All right, let's do another few, but I'll turn to the side now. So push up position, plant this leg up high, look at the hand, slowly rotate, and then rock. Send your butt up to the ceiling, send the heel into the ground, let's close up. Make sure you stretch one, two, bring it down, switch legs. This is part of the world's greatest. Mobility one day, one night it last one day. Feel free to add this before or after any one of your workouts or even in between as a little bit of a rest. So we're just gonna do three on each side. Last one. And hamstring. Alright, down to your feet. Cross jacks, jumping jacks, and a variation that you'd like to do. Just getting the heart rate up to start. Thirty second warm ups. As fast as you like, as slow as you like. Do some jump rope instead. Just giving up five seconds. And time to step out into the lateral lunge. Touch the instep of that shoe. Get your butt down nice and low. Now we're going to get a stretch on the inside hips. Okay, so once you get this movement down, you can start to speed it up. Get nice and long. Okay, make sure the other leg is staying nice and straight. About five seconds. And time. Uh, let's go to some high knees. Okay, pump your arms. Grab the elbows forward and back. Five seconds. 
and time. All right. So I'll get my timer ready for 30 seconds. I'm gonna need, or you are gonna need, just one of these to begin with, or one weight. Let me get a set for 30 seconds. So what we're gonna do is a reverse lunge, 30 seconds each leg, and you're kind of stand up tall with a press. So I'm gonna start with this on my right shoulder, right leg goes back, come right up and press, okay? Come up and press. So yeah, we're going 30 seconds each leg. Right leg, and go. Lunge, come up and press. Lunge, come up and press. I will tell you when to stop, if I stop the motion, please don't stop. I may just be adjusting or giving you a little cues. Okay, make sure this left knee is staying out. Don't let it cave in. Don't let it do that. Okay? Go as fast or as slow as you can or you would like to. It's all at your own pace. And time. Switch. Left arm, left leg, and go. Okay, so it's very similar to a squat to press. You want to think of your lower body is generating the momentum. And your upper body just finishing it. Straight to the top. Look for a little bit of a quad burn. Maybe those weights aren't heavy enough. Or they're just not as heavy as the weight that we're putting on our lower body. Pushing more burn lower than upper. Keep pressing. Last one. Back. And good. Easily drop it down. This next one's going to be called Skywalkers. So I'll sit up to the side. What you want to do is keep your legs straight, crawl your fingers down, then crawl out into a push-up position, and then walk the hands back up. Notice my legs stay straight, and hop. All right, this is slow, so you should only get maybe five is the goal here. All right, 30 seconds, and go. Crawl, stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk out, engage the core. Walk the hands back up, jump. If you don't want to jump, you don't need to jump. Maybe give you a little bit of a squat at the top if you'd like. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, you want to crawl all the way down, then drop into a low plank. Come back up to a high plank. And then a hop. And maybe you're quick here. And you might have some of those. Go to your own speed. And keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, Time. Slowly come back to your feet if you're not already. We're gonna grab two of these. Two of these Clorox pins or dumbbells or water bottles or can goods or whatever you have at home. You're gonna hinge, okay? All the way to my heels. Very slight bend in the elbows. Just squeeze your shoulder blades. Reverse flies. And begin. Okay? Try to give you as many different angles as possible. I see these done wrong a lot, okay? So here's what I see a lot. The weight's too heavy, and they fling up, okay? You want to keep that chest parallel to the ground. The only thing you should really feel here is between those shoulder blades. Maybe a little bit of tension creeping into the lower back with a tweak of working shoulder blades. Last one. And time. Here's the last one, just conditioning. We'll hop right into it, then I'll give you a quick little rest. We have butt kicks. Just kick your own ass, all right? And go. If you got some space, feel free to move around. And I know a lot of you like to do that. Just staying in one spot. Do little circles. Stay light on those feet. Be quick, be quick. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Another five seconds. Speed it up, then you get a rest. And time. Good, relax. Grab a sip of water, please. Whenever any fitness instructor tells you to drink water, take advantage of it. Please do it. It's gonna give you more energy for your workout. Otherwise, you're gonna die. Die way too soon. Just 30 seconds, that's all you need for a quick sip. Then we're gonna go back through it, all right? 
Look at that, we're taking a sip of water, take a rest, we're good to go, we're going to go right arm, reverse lunge, come up and press. And here we go, we're on, reverse lunge, press, lunge, press, lunge, press. Okay, so I'm going to go at a fairly standard break. Feel free to pause this if you need more of a rest, or if you want to add reps, maybe add another set, feel free to do so. Make sure this stays tight to the shoulder. Don't let it drop low like that. Keep your chest up. Keep the side view. Okay, last one. And switch. Or you already know what you're doing. We're just switching sides. And go. Lunge, press. Lunge, press. Okay, that lower body's generating the momentum. Slow back, spring high. Slow back, spring high. If you want that back, you can get as close to the ground as possible. I don't quite touch you. Keep pressing, lefties. Keep pressing. You have 10 seconds. See if you can get three more in. The last two. Last one. And high. Beautiful. We need two weights because we're going low into reverse flies. Okay, make sure that back's nice and flat. You don't want to see this. Okay, you don't want to see this. Okay, there's no Instagram girls here. And go. Right here. Another thing I see here that you don't want to do, keep the chin tucked in your collar. You don't want to be like this. Hey, there's no computer screen to look at here. Just keep squeezing those shoulder blades. If you do get too much pressure in your back, just stand tall. One, two, I'm right back down. Hey, it's only 30 seconds. It's only 30 seconds. You're building strength if you feel that. And I. All right, last one is butt kicks. I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a rest before we finish out that circuit. All right, kick your own butt. Three, two, go. They start slow and speed it up. All right, you're gonna be up there, so try to keep it up, keep moving. Keep kicking butt, keep kicking butt, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. Move around, move around. Try and go both directions. Keep going, keep going. And time. Ah, beautiful. Finished out that first circuit. Grab another big sip of water. Alright, so as I'm giving you a rest, once again, feel free to pause this if you need more of a rest at any point. This next one's gonna be just a little bit different than what we've been doing. So, this is called as many rounds as possible. A-M-R-A-P. So what I'm going to do is my timer is going to read four minutes. Okay. Now we're going to count reps. So we're building a little bit more strength with this as far as actual exercise protocols. Follow this. Three exercises. You have to do 12 reps. Repetitions of each. And in this four minutes until my timer expires, you're going through as many rounds as you possibly can, okay? Some of you might get one round, some of you might get eight, you know? So you're going at your own speed here, challenge yourself, all right? So, what are the exercises? Go back to your weights, all right? Here, squat to press. You, you at home are counting 12. Okay, once you finish those 12, Bring down on the ground, do a reverse crunch. So line your back, pull knees in your chest, raise your hips. Okay. You want to do 12 of those, and then the last one is a swing. Okay. Hold your weight, squat stance. Okay, now this is all like hip dominant motion. My knees aren't doing much, if you notice. Okay, you're going to count 12 of these. So you're getting as many sets of these in as you possibly can before my timer expires. For video purposes, I am going to be doing just three reps of every exercise. That way you can continually see me demoing the different exercises. All right, get ready. Let's start with squats and press. Get those weights ready. We got four minutes on the clock. Three, two, and go. Okay, you're doing 12 reps. Okay, I'm just gonna do three. So there's your squats and press these. Swing. 
swings, so he's year three you're doing. Don't worry, I'm on set for all the exercises. Okay. We have four minutes. Okay. My goal for everybody is to get two to three sets though. Okay, squats and presses. We're doing 12. 12 of everything. We'll be the Tom Brady now, but not the more. L1, 3. Reverse push. Give me 12 knees. Upper belt, right underneath your rib cage. And swings. Moving, keep moving, go at your own pace. I'll let you know when you're halfway. Try to keep if you made two sets by halfway, try to get another two sets. Don't fall off. Keep your speed up. Okay? 12, 12 reps of everything. Lots of presses. And keep the weight in the heels. Balls in your feet. No toes. No toes. First crunch. Be moving. You are exactly halfway there. If you've done two sets, get another two sets. And if you've done one set, get another set in. You're exactly halfway. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay. Those weights, if they were on the first round, they're going to seem heavier by the time you get to that third set. They notice my knees, they get pushed out nice and wide with these squat depresses. This is not one thing you don't, don't want to see, is this, okay? Unless you want to get an ACL repair. Please don't be doing that. Push the knees nice and wide. First crunches. Last one. Okay, 12 of everything. I'm just showing you three. You're doing 12. You have just over 60 seconds left. Keep going, keep going. You don't have to do this again. This is only one time, one time. Okay, 60 seconds. 60, and then you get a little rest. I'll give you water. Get low with those spots. Don't cheat them. Don't cheat them. Sit all the way down. All the way in, okay? Nothing here. That's a push press. It's a different exercise. Get all the way deep. Nice and deep. The reverse punches. Be keys is coming. Get the bellies going. The core strength. Yeah. Swings. Come on, swings. Get those swings all the way up to shoulder height. Squeeze your toe cheek. Don't fall to the toes. You're almost there. Come on, whatever exercise you're on, it's the last one. You have eight seconds. Get your last three reps in. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Drop some rest. Grab some water. Take a sip of water. If you uh, are on a hardwood or linoleum or anything that's harder, if you want to grab a mat, dish towel, pillow, you have an actual mat at home, yoga mat, anything with some cushion, or maybe use some up down planks in this next circle. Okay. So we're going to go back to what we've been doing for exercises 30 seconds. Okay, we'll go through it twice. Then we'll move on to uh, just, just a simple core finisher. Okay, we'll do it a little bit different as well. But to start off, this is why you needed that pull over structure. You're going to start in a high plank or a push up position. You're going to drop into a low plank position. Transfer back up. So just up and down. Okay, don't let your hips pivot. Okay, that's the most important part here. This should be slow. You should not be doing this fast. Too fast. If you're going to move too quick, then you lose all four engagement. Alright? 
grab a mat. 30 seconds. Alright, get in that high plank position, 30 seconds, and go. Look. High, low, just at the speed. Keep going. Keep going. Pretend there's a hot cup of coffee in your lower back. Don't spill it, it's gonna burn, it's gonna hurt. You have under 10 seconds. Up and down, one more time. And that'll do. That'll do. Slowly come back to your feet. We want head rushes. As you're gonna do super skaters next. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with this. Okay, you're gonna start on one foot to the outside leg. Okay? And you're gonna jump to the other side, plant, and come back. Okay, once you get used to this motion, you can start to speed it up. Alright, move your arms. All the way in front of them. 30 seconds, and go. Okay, stick that landing, stick the landing, stick the landing, and get quick with it. Start moving back. See if you can get low. Keep moving, keep going. You just got under 10 seconds left, under 10. Under 10. Three, two, and time. Next one, you can use one dumbbell if you have a heavy one or two lighter ones. Okay, I'll down with full overhead tricep extensions. Okay, not much changing equipment here, so let's jump right in. It's for 30 seconds. Go. Okay, so this is your two. We can see that. Okay, you got one here. Hopefully, I have something heavier than these Clorox wipes. They might be two pounds if I'm lucky. But hey, if you have empty containers like this, go outside and load this thing up with gravel, crushed sand, rice, beans. That'll add some weight to this, make this nice and heavy. Last one, last extension, and time. All right, this start gets a little bit more conditioning. So, last one in this wide stance, left hand on the ground. You're gonna come up, close your feet, down and switch hands. Get all the way down to the ground. 30 seconds, three, two, and go. Same deal, get used to the motion. Once you have it fully under, under control, you can start speeding it up. Get low, burn the quads. the lungs, keep moving, keep going, seven seconds, seven, four, and time, all right, sip the water, sip the water, then we'll go through that one more time, we're almost there, we're cruising, first one was up, down, planks, low plank, high plank, if you need more rest, take a pause real quick. Take a 10 second pause. Take five on me. Alright. I'm gonna start in the low plank. And 30 seconds. We're on. Low to high. The wider your feet are here, the easier it's gonna be. The closer the feet, the harder it's gonna be. Go on one foot, try that. Keep going. Keep moving. Slow and controlled. Okay? We'll give you fast motions. We have two fast motions in the circuit, two slow ones. This is slow. And time. So we're going to a fast one now. Super skaters. Make sure I don't trip on anything. Make sure you don't trip on anything. Dog toys, dumbbells, anything. Okay, we're here. 30 seconds. And begin. Hey, you can be here, you can go a little bit quicker, or you can be low. Okay, keep going, don't roll your ankle. Okay, plant that foot, soft knees, soft knees. Don't roll, don't roll. Just 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. 
I almost slow it down with tricep extensions. Three, two, and time. Overhead tricep extensions next. I'm gonna use my water bottle because it's a little bit heavier. <laughs> my life's all up. All right, 30 seconds, we're on. Another thing you can fill up is your water bottle. Anyway, I personally have about a million shakers. But I mean, if you have a gallon water jug at home and you fill it up with crushed rock or gravel, sand, mulch, you really want to go through that. That should be quite enough ways to get this to burn by 30 seconds. Keep it going. Keep those elbows in. Don't let them chicken wing out. Last one. And time. We'll go to a fast motion to end this third circuit. It's the alternating floor jacks. Here. Put the heels. Alright? 30 seconds. We'll give you rest after this. Left hand down, wide stance, toes out. And go. You get that butt down nice and low. Keep going. You still got another 15 seconds. Another 15. Another 12. Another 12. Keep it. Keep it. Three, two, time. Right Take a rest. Don't drink too much water here, though. We're not done. And we're doing core. When you're doing core or belly exercise, you don't want to drink too much because of the different breathing pattern. It's going to force you to have to really squeeze and brace that abdominal wall, which can force you to kind of want to throw off that water because your body's going to resist it. It hasn't had time to actually uh, digest it, metabolize it yet. So we're just going to do three exercises. Okay, we're going to go 20 seconds on, two rounds through. So it'll be a little bit quicker. And the reason being is you don't want to be doing too much core all at one time. Uh, I don't even believe in holding a plank long enough 30 seconds. The reason being is that those muscles can't possibly contract max maximally for longer than 30 seconds. What happens after that is your bones, your structure of your body ends up taking over. So your hips start to drop. Even if you're insanely strong, you just can't hold it. You can't squeeze maximally like that. You're actually holding your breath if you're squeezing your abdominals as hard as you possibly can. So what happens is your lower back and your spine actually take the bump of all your weight. And that's what happens since you develop lower back issues. So that's why we're going to go lower intervals. 20 seconds. So we're going to do side planking. 20 seconds each side. We're going to do some heel touches or TikToks, whatever you want to call them. And then a Spider-Man plank, which I'll show you. So we'll start with a side plank. Have that mat handy. 20 seconds. Pick a side, either side. I'll show you all the modifications you can do to match your ability level. I'm going to adjust this timer to 20 seconds. All right. And up. Okay, so you can have your peak stacks like this. This is kind of right in the middle. If this is too challenging, come here. Bend the knees. All right, so now my pivot point is my knee. Make sure your elbow is always right below your shoulder. If that's too easy, and this is too easy, raise the leg. Okay, try to hold that. We're set to side and in time. Switch. Once you get in position, go right ahead. Extra credit. All right, 20 seconds. Make sure those hips don't drop. Just bring them up nice and high. There's a string attached from your hip all the way up to that ceiling. It's not going to let you drop. Okay. Right leg if you want. Drop down to the knees if you want. Don't let the hips touch. Don't let the hips touch. Sorry, my shirt. And high. Heel touches. We're staying all on the ground here. So bend your knees. Tuck your chin into your collar. Arms are fully extended by the side, and rotate and touch the heel. Now, this is way too easy. Give yourself a nice little reach. Alright, 20 seconds, and go. So your arms aren't really moving, they're just kind of a scarecrow. You're just rotating, twisting at the belly button. You try to reach and touch that heel. And your shoulder blades, your neck, your head are off the ground. You're almost there. And time. All right, last one. Oh, the Spider-Man plank. So you're going to set up in a low plank position. And all you're going to do is try to get this knee, the outside of the elbow, you're going to alternate. 
If this is too challenging, just hold a plank. It's just 20 seconds. And go. Going. Three, two, and time. All right, now you know what we're doing. We're gonna go through it. 20 seconds each, and then we're done. We're done. All right, side to side, side either side. And go. If that was too quick, feel free to pause. I'll be here. 20 seconds side plank each side. Make sure you're not dropping. Three, two, time. Switch. Okay, 20 seconds here. And up. After this, we just have 40 seconds left in this workout. That's it. Keep holding. Three, two, time. Heel touches. Tick tocks that I heard of. Train a column once. Got the clock. All right, sit up in your position. Bend knees. There you go. Tuck your chin. Just pivoting. Telling someone to stick a dagger right through your belly button into the ground. That's how you have to rotate. Those hips aren't moving. That's going to make it too easy. And time. All right, here's the last one. Either just hold the plank or Spider Man knee drops. And go. Go plank. Just at the speed. Final five seconds. Final five. And time. Beautiful. Expired. All right. Well, happy Cinco de Mayo. Please wipe down your equipment. You never know who's going to be using it next to where it's going to go or what type of germs you caught from it. Or... Well, I'll see you guys. What's what meetup seminar webinar are going to be posted tomorrow. And enjoy the sun while we got it. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the last few days of beautiful weather. And hopefully get to see everyone soon. Looks like it may start to be sooner.